We're here with uh, longtime coach PJ Smith of UC, UC, UNC Pembroke. Um, coach, you're, uh, you're, you picked up your whistle day, you're helping out a little bit with this tournament? Uh, yes, uh, you know, I've been involved with the, in fact, I went to the first NCUSA tournament, I believe it was in 1971, okay, with Frank Ray, the first tournament, and then I've been involved with it some ever since. And then in my coaching career, you know, we hosted a lot of NCUSA wrestling tournaments when I was a coach at UNC Pembroke. And since retiring from coaching, I've been involved in officiating, but basically what I'm doing now is trying to promote the sport I uh, run a little youth wrestling, wrestling program and a league in Pembroke, North Carolina, where UNC Pembroke is. And the other thing is I try to help the local high schools raise money. I've started three or four high school programs in our county that didn't have any help to raise money for a map. So I stay involved with the sport and what I can do best, probably, you know, fundraising and promotion right now. We're working on a social media campaign after COVID-19 really try and bring the sport back in our county, which took a tremendous nosedive because of COVID. But I enjoy being around wrestling. Uh, it's been my life, my blood. I wrestled at NC State for Jerry Daniels, and he's been a great mentor to me. And, uh, you know, I've met so many wonderful people along the way with wrestling. And, uh, you know, like we brought like about 19 or 20 kids from our club to this tournament this weekend. And it's a great opportunity for some kids to come to Charlotte who don't normally go to a big town and see some good wrestling and be a part of some good wrestling. Uh, we've been like a Timex watch, though. Take a licking and keep on ticking, but we're getting better. And uh, I just enjoy being involved with the sport, and it's done a lot for me, and the people have been great to me. Um, what are, now that things are kind of getting back to normal slowly, what are some of the challenges you see wrestling face um, at the state level and maybe even at the... Well, I think there's still a lot of apprehension about wrestling, you know, touching people and, and things like that. And then, you know, I think the growth of girls wrestling is really going to help. I know we've got almost as many girls on the high school team where I am as we do boys now. So uh, I think getting back the promotion of wrestling and, you know, getting people back on the mat and getting them confident. Once you're on the mat, you feel pretty good about it, but it's that first tournament or so coming by. A lot of parents are apprehensive, and uh, I think once we get that going, I know our town recreation department is apprehensive, so we're gonna try and run a camp this summer because we couldn't do our youth program. Uh, so we're gonna try and do a camp and some other things, but you know, once people get going, it's just like anything else. Things have opened up, and once they start going, they start going. What are some of the um, high schools you said you've helped out uh, with purchasing a mat? And well, Fairmont High School, uh, Purnell Sweat High School, Red Springs High School, St. Paul's High School, and I helped start those programs at, at three or four of the places there. So, and you know, I helped like Purnell Sweat get two or three mats over the time, and then for the youth wrestling program, I wrote grants and stuff like that for the mats and things like that. So to help them, you know, singlets and stuff like that. And I've had some generous donors from uh, a lot of the guys with guys I wrestled with at NC State. Um, you spoke of Jerry, Jerry Daniels and he's one of our followers. Uh, do you have any, uh, a, a good, a quick story or anything like that about Coach Daniels or anything? Oh, I got a lot of st <laughs> good stories about him, but uh, you know, I, I guess my the, uh, most famous story, he said he doesn't remember this, but I remember my first coaching job, and I came in to his house at Christmas time complaining. And I said, Jerry, da 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 da. I said, I have so many obstacles. He said, I said, you don't know what it's like to be coaching now in a minor sport. I'll never forget. He grabbed me and he says, There are no major and minor sports, they're just major and minor coaches. And I took that to heart. What, what are, um, who, who have been, other than Coach Daniels, have you had any mentors along the way? Frank Rader, you know, he uh, sold me on his philosophy of, hey, wrestling will grow if you just get the fannies on the mat. And I mean, there are hundreds of coaches, you know, that I've gone to camps, clinics. Before there was the internet, I was going to Pennsylvania, going here, going to the Olympic Training Center, trying to learn all I could, and just being involved. Uh, you know, people run, rub off on you, and yeah, if you're around five really good wrestling people, 
you know, you'll turn out to be pretty good too. We really appreciate your time. Is there anything else you have for us? No, just keep wrestling. Okay.